So I made a video call what's on my iPhone 7 Plus. A lot of you guys watched it and liked the video. So I thought why don't I make a video call what's on my MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro I have is a mid-2015 MacBook Pro. It's a 15 inch uh, with macOS Sierra 10.12.1. So it's the latest uh, operating system and the MacBook is just over a year old. So I've got quite a few apps that I think most of you might find that uh, that might be helpful to you so let's go right into it so as you can see I like anything else I don't actually move the native apps uh, I love the way Apple have organized them and everything like that so as you can see I've got the Safari mail contacts calendar reminders notes maps messages FaceTime photo booth photos iMovie garage garage GarageBand, iTunes, iBooks, App Store, Pages, Numbers, Keynote, Preview, Dictionary, Calculator, and a folder called Others, which has all sort of uh, utilities for your Mac. Of course, you've got the Siri app, Mission Control, Dashboard, System Preferences. This is where it gets interesting, and this is what you probably want to see uh, and want to know what kind of apps that I use. So let's just start from the top. Obviously, I've got the Acrobat Reader DC. Uh, it's a good app if you want to just um, edit your PDFs and all sorts of things with PDF. Of course, After Effects CC 2015. That I use for special effects uh, outside YouTube. Uh, After Effects Render Engine is if you have multiple projects that you need to render, you use that. Amphetamine, it's basically an app that you can use to keep your Mac awake. Um, a very useful app. Let me just quickly show you what it's like. Top right here, which this tab pill. Um, if uh, now that I've enabled it, that uh, little icon there basically indicates that it, the map won't go to sleep, it will stay awake. Uh, you can right click and you can end the current session, you can set how many minutes, how many hours, custom uh, app while app is running and all sorts of different different settings in there and I find this more uh, there's another app that does exactly the same thing, Caffeine, but I find this to be a lot better than Caffeine. There's more options and it's just a neater looking app as well. Uh, so let's just go back to that app cleaner. Uh, it does exactly what App Zapper does, which you have to pay for. This is basically uh, an app uninstaller. So obviously on Macs you can't uninstall apps. You open the app and you drag whichever app you want to get rid of and it will find all the random files that are linked to the app and then you can delete it from your system like that. Apple Configurator 2, that's basically if you have multiple Apple devices and you want to deploy uh, software onto them or any other thing so it's not something that you would use on your daily or normal general uses. Assistant, that is for DJI to update your drone um, and stuff like that. Final Cut Pro is what I use to edit these videos and my vlogs. A great app um, for editing. Obviously, you don't need that app. You can always use iMovie. Firefox, just an alternative uh, browser, uh, just in case if Safari doesn't work or if there's certain things I can't do on Safari. Uh, iFlix 2. This is one of those apps that is like a must have if you like to have or watch movies and put them in iTunes. Impactor is something that allows you to install certain things onto your iPhone, uh, bypasses certain things. Launchpad Manager Yosemite, one of my favorite apps. This is basically to organize your launchpad and get rid of unnecessary apps that you don't want. Magnet, I have an OCD. Uh, every screen has to be sort of in center so let me just show you again let me just move this out the way as you can see you open certain apps and sometimes they open uh, to the left to the right or not in the center if you look at this icon here on the top right if i tap this you have left right up as you can see it's changing the way the window sits on your display display so you can have four screens 
and you can multitask using four different screens or five, uh, you know, any anyhow, you can even maximize it. And, but this is my favorite. If I do uh, restore it to how it was, and if I do center, that goes straight into the center, and that's how all my windows la launch now. Uh, if any of them are not in the center, I'll just use that app to bring it back into the center. Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, you guys all know what that is. Microsoft Silverlight, Microsoft Word, Open Emu, that is an emulator. Go check out my video where I show you how to install it and how to get some Pokemon ROMs or any other ROMs that you can use to play on the Mac. We've got Photoshop EC 2015, that's to make YouTube thumbnails. Shazam, Smart Converter is basically an app that you can use to convert any video songs or anything like that. The Ant Archiver is obviously an extraction uh, software. It's free, go download it, you need it for your Mac. Transmission is my favorite, is to download Torrent, VLC, and of course the final one is WhatsApp. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for weekly videos on this channel. Um, also go check out my vlog channel, the link will be in the description below and thank you so much for everyone who subscribed and whoever leaves comments a uh, couple of weeks in a couple of weeks there will be an exciting exciting news so make sure you subscribe and keep watching i'll see you in the next video